Have you ever been watching your favorite horror movie and wish you had the perfect drink to go along with it? I'm not talking about drinking a Coke or a Mountain Dew or popping open a can of beer. No, I mean like a nice mixed drink. Maybe a cocktail. If that sounds like you, I may have the perfect book for you. Stick around. We're going to talk about it here in a second. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. This is the world according to moi. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. Come on in. You're welcome. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Relax a little bit. Remember where you put your shoes so there's not a fight at the end of the night. You know, you go home with mixed match shoes. We've all been there. We've all been at parties where that happens. Flashbacks to college. So, today we're going to talk about getting smashed and watching horror movies. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Wow, we're going to drink some booze and watch Friday the 13th. No, we're not, Junior. Settle down a little bit. We're going to be a little bit more sophisticated than that because nothing says being sophisticated than watching some cheesy 80s horror movies, right? But I, I, there's a little bit of sarcasm in that, I know. But what have I told you? We can make those 80s movies a little bit more classy. We could we could uh, class up the joint a little bit with cocktails. Uh, that's right. Check this out. This is Terror for Teetotalers. This is a collection of creepy cocktails compiled by Kevin Bell and Rebecca Rowland. This thing is hitting the shelves uh, September 3rd. And if I'm incorrect on that, Rebecca will let me know and I can put a disclaimer in there. But this is from Mainit Press. And Rebecca was actually on an episode of Paper Cuts a few weeks back, three weeks, four weeks back. I've lost all track of time, unfortunately. That's what happens when you get old. It will happen to you. But she did mention this book. She talked about this book. Uh, gave all the credit, really, to Kevin Bell. Because Kevin Bell is the one that came up with the recipes for these cocktails. Uh, it looks like he is a lead bartender. And he's been in the restaurant industry for 20 years. 18 of those behind the bar. So, yeah, I would say he knows how to make a drink or two. Uh, but what these are, what Rebecca's connection with these she obviously sampled all of them. She may have been sampling them during paper cuts. She did seem a little tipsy at times. <laughs> She's going to kill me for that, isn't she? But basically, these are uh, cocktails to go along with your favorite horror movie. Pretty cool. Why hasn't anybody thought of this before? And along with that, they have, I don't know if you see this, little stories. Before you get to the ingredients for the cocktail... Little stories, little background uh, of each of these drinks. Uh, let's see, which one was I looking at? Now, I'm, I'm not much of a drinker, so I don't know how these taste. Uh, I, I just was never, I never became a drinker. Uh, but I know probably 95% of my audience, is a, they're, they're drinkers because they have to be drunk to watch my videos. That's neither here nor there. So I'm sure a lot of you, once you get this, you may, you know, Maybe mix some of these drinks up, try them out, and let us know. Let me know. I want to know how, the, how these taste. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and make a couple myself. The only problem with that is I, I, I don't know uh, if it tastes the way it's supposed to because I'm not experienced in being a lush like you. <laughs> oh, man. I just lost a few viewers. I apologize. I'm just being me. So here's an example of one of the drinks in, in this collection. Jason takes old fashioned. Now remember, I, everyone knows about the whole story of Friday the 13th, Jason in the lake, yada, yada, yada. Birthdays are a time of celebration. What a bummer it would have been to spend ours alone at the bottom of a lake. Because, you know, he's at the bottom of the lake. Camp Crystal Lake, you know, there's... Is that a spoiler for you for Friday the 13th? Hopefully it's not. But then it, it goes along with the ingredients for this. This is a freebie. I'll give you this one. I'll have to slide some money to Mainit Press for this, but 
Uh, there you go. In case you want to pause that and, and, and make that drink. Let us know how that is. Okay. Uh, Captain Howdy. They're all going to laugh at you. These are some of the names of, of these drinks that you can find. The cocktails in this collection. 31 recipes for different cocktails. And what you ought to do, my suggestion for this, have a cocktail party. And make a bunch of these cocktails. And see if people can figure out what movie they go with. Maybe have a, a, all of the movies, you know, all of the all of the movies that like on a board, you know, and then maybe have snippets of some of the stories behind these drinks and how people match. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool that there's a, a collection of cocktail recipes that go along with a lot of our favorite horror movies. Yeah. Main and Press is really classing up the joint here, guys. Because I mean, you know, not just as classy like slashers. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Terror for Teetotalers. This is September 3rd. It's a collection of creepy cocktails compiled by Kevin Bell and Rebecca Rowland. So I'll pick it up and maybe you can make your own videos of creating the drinks. There's 31 recipes in here, so maybe you'll pick up a copy of this and make 31 videos. That'd be pretty cool. Twister Sex Machine. Yeah. Terror for Teetotalers. Collection of creepy cocktails compiled by Kevin Bell and Rebecca Rowland. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. That's pretty cool. It's a cool concept and uh, something something different, not just uh, an in your face novella or a short story collection. No, this is something that will uh, maybe quench your thirst next time you're watching. Uh, Friday the 13th or Black Christmas or Nightmare on Elm Street or, or you know, any other of your other favorite horror movies. All right. All right there you go. Check it out. Uh, I'll try to put links down below for you to uh, to pick it up. But look for that one here in the next couple of weeks. Okay. That's all I have for you right now. I totally appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. I know you appreciate me and you enjoy me. So we'll keep that excitement moving along. Okay. Until we meet again, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, bye bye now.